for us to kick off the first match of the day. Fly versus Sock. China versus Korea. We're in Group D here in the Smile Cup 2. And this is our first match of the day. We're all still very fresh and ready. Yesterday, I was feeling a little under the weather. But today, I'm really, really hyped for these matches. I hope so are you guys. And let's start this off. Northern Isles. Our first map of the best of three. Sock in the bottom left in the red. Fly top right in the blue. Um, this is the old WGL map pool, by the way. Which means we don't have the new maps, Autumn Leaves and Tidehunters yet. What we do have instead is uh, Terra Stand and Turtle Rock. But we've hardly seen them. They get vo vetoed most of the time. Because they do have a few balance issues here and there. It's a Farseer Headhunter opening by Fly here once again. Six Headhunters into Grunts is what Lynn pioneered at the DreamHack Regional Finals, which was revolutionary back then. Pretty crazy to see Headhunter opening into Grunts late game, but it worked out so well. And by now, everyone knows how good the Headhunters can be. And especially the humans seem to have suffered from this. In Orc Mirror, some Orcs are decent at dealing with Headhunters, Farseer with a Blade Master, playing defensive, trying to counter and stuff. Um, some Undeads also have found pretty good ways against it, but especially the humans are still struggling against the Farseer Headhunter. For a short while there, Chimiko looked pretty good with, um, a player's forces are with Pally Rifles, but uh, nobody seems to play that, unfortunately. So it's an early grunt, by the way, from Fly. Grunt into Headhunters. This is something especially we see a lot on Last Refuge, and there I can understand it a lot, because it's very helpful for creeping the first High Priest camp. But here... Grunts are, of course, good for creeping things with medium armor. And there's nothing here with medium armor that the Farseer has been creeping. But all right. Got the sentry wards, that's very nice for scouting. And now the headhunters are starting to come out. So this seems to be perhaps the newest evolution of the headhunter build. Going one grunt into headhunters. Not to say that everyone does this, but I think Fly has been doing it a good amount. TC second is almost always the choice for the orcish side. Oh, the AM was hiding in the shadows. Is he trying to creep the green camp up there? Without footies, though, that's not going to be too easy. Oh my god, double sentries. Okay, he's going to try to push the Boros. But only one watch elemental. No footmen around. This is not really so scary. I guess he's scouting at the very least. And he sees, yep, Boros, headhunters. That's an orc base. This would be a great creep here to get for Sock, but Fly with perfect positioning, he's right around the corner. And now he can creep this camp himself and could be getting the supply late. It was, by the way, a two-farm tech by Sock, so playing very low footman count, only three footies. And then going into rifles with a fast tier two, but can't really creep heavily or trade uh, hits efficiently in the early game. I've never been a bad, big fan of the two Boro tech, honestly. I feel like it really limits what you can do early game. But this is not too bad for Sock. He got level 2. He's getting a bit more experience here. He didn't lose any footmen, in fact. But Fly certainly has map control now. He's looking strong with his headhunters and is creeping the middle. He's going to get the big camp here. And close to level 3. Double cloak for the AM, not the greatest. MK coming out, so are the rifles. Shop cancel might be a little annoying, as Fly would like to heal up on the Farseer and the Grunt, but most of his army is still healthy. That's, of course, the great thing about playing Farseer. You have the wolves, they tank the damage, 
you need way fewer heal cells than you would need with a blade master. So it's a lot more economical of a build, of a strategy. Scourge Bone Chimes, by the way, for fly. Always a great orc item, but here this orc army is mostly ranged, so... I wonder if it's worth it to keep. Beastury and Spirit Lodge. Don't think Sok has the damage here to get the cancel on the lodge. It's only level 1 watch elementals. Not that impressive. MK comes out though and starts off with a very nice jump start. Gonna get the level 2 right away from the Tuskar camp. But that watch elemental also perfectly lined up to give the Farseer enough experience for the level 3. And now we have the level 2 wolves available. Which are gonna find us around on the AM here right away. Oh, Sok is willing to use the TP here. He is invisible, but uh, Stomp breaks you out of Shadow Meld. So, that cost him the TP. Hmm. Seemed like a bit of a waste to me. But what he is ensuring with this is slowing down the TC, and it's the MK that's creeping faster than the Torn Chieftain, which is fairly rare to see. But that TP being gone could definitely turn out to be a problem later on. We'll have to see about that. Solo experience continues to go to the Mountain King, trying to get him to level 3 as quickly as humanly possible. TC with the ring plus 4, very good item for him. Oh, Stonebolt's around. It's gonna be an easy TP for us right there. Always trying to fight his way out, but... He's gonna have to use the TP in the end. One Footman does go down. And the Marketplace is still available. Sentry Ward, of course, planted in the middle, so... Fly easily sees what's up. One Heal Scroll, one Invul Potion in the shop. I think Sock definitely needs that Invuln. He's gonna get both. Invuln and Heal Scroll. Big mana potion for the MK, by the way, and a ring of protection. Good items for him. TC is still pretty far away from level 3 here, by the way. Fly is gonna get the. S Wait, is it did he get the second heal scroll? Maybe not. I think the second heal scroll. Nah, it still takes a while to become available. Crystal ball for the TC at level 3. Oh, perfectly level 3 as well. A player's forces are under attack. Upgrades for the rifles. One attack upgrade, one armor upgrade. And this game's not looking bad for Sock, gotta say. As much as I'm not a big fan of the one borrow tech, or two farm tech rather, this seems to be working out pretty well. This MK is leveling hard. Would love to get MK level 4 quickly to have Stormbolt and Clap level 2. And over at the Arachnithids, he might be able to do just that. Sometimes the stream skips a bit and uh, resets to like two seconds earlier, which is really confusing. MK gets level 4, but the AM is far, far away, and the Creepjack is inbound. Uh-oh. Invis TC gonna have the perfect stomp to start things off. MK with three rings, super tanky, gonna have to use the heal scroll very early on. No stomp against the uh, no stumble against the TC. I think that was a big mistake. The TC got a second wonderful stomp off. He even had the wand of the wind. That definitely looked like an error there by Sock. Militia also should be called in. MK used a lot of his mana. 14 armor, very tanky. Also still has the invul potion available. Big mana potion used. Just clap in the back. It's a lot of damage on fly. And remember, he doesn't have a heal scroll. Let's not have a heal scroll here. Use the invul potion, perfectly timed. Wonderful fight by Sock. Despite the crazy creep jack, despite the crazy stomp, it seems like Fly wasn't ready yet. And here we see the importance of a heal scroll. TC now with one more stomp. That one was glorious, but that was his last stomp. Lightning shield gets dispelled there just barely in time. Both players losing a lot of units. AM. Needs to be careful as well. Aggressive Purge may have to TP out, and he does. 
gets a raider kill in return and fly salvages this fight kind of he lost a lot but he also was able to keep a lot of units alive in the end but mk now is level four and a half am got level three so that should be brilliance too healing up now with the region scroll and this game is looking good for suck in it game looking good Hippo probably making notes right now. Level 2 AM harass, 2 farm tech, and heavy MK creeping. Works well, especially on this map. On other maps, could be a little tougher for the Mountain King. Alright, red camp creep now on both sides. A lot of good items to be found here. So I think for Sock, the only really bad one is actually Brilliance Aura, right? Everything else is pretty good. TC gets the Cloak of Flames, that can be really good. Mountain King would certainly appreciate that item as well. Still getting solo experience. Woo! Medallion of Courage, that's a great item for the MK. And he's gonna get level 5 here as well, I think. Yes! 1150 HP, 15 armor. Woo! Here's the HP, must be like close to 2000. In the end, though, you still want to have an invuln potion. Only one shop on this map. Contesting for the invuln, important. Sometimes hard to get to, especially for the human who has the slower army. Oh, late game breakers, by the way. Seems like we might be seeing a breaker transition now, which does make sense. As the TC gets higher and higher in levels, you really don't want to play rifles into a level 5 Torrent Chieftain. So gets to the shop, Invuln still on cooldown, but just for a few seconds. A player's forces are under attack. Expo bottom right for fly. Oh, and Sock did not wait for the Invuln potion. Sitting at 50, getting more upgrades. I wonder if he's still continuing to upgrade the rifles or if he's upgrading the breakers now as he will want to transition I think both second heroes are invis here the mountain king certainly is oh and control magic is already available very valuable here now to take over the wolves there's the TC spot at the shop MK not gonna use the storm bolt Sock wants to move into a better position so it makes me a little nervous that he doesn't, doesn't have an invul on the MK. But we'll see how it goes. Stop on the TC to start things off. The sorceress taken out quickly, but she did use a couple of slows already. Raider follows to the grave, and the TC does get off a good stomp. Lightning shield, follow up. Not being dispelled. Dispel, Dispel! Where is Dispel? And those are coming in from the main. Heal scrolls from Fly here, doing a good job, counteracting the AoE damage of the Mountain King. More claps coming through. MK does have a mana potion. He's running out of mana quickly as well. TC dropping very low, but does have that invuln still available. Gonna have to use that very, very soon. Cloak of Flames, by the way, is doing a lot of damage. More and more rifles are going down. Mana potion used. Coda will be falling. TC is level 5. AM in a precarious position here once again. Aggressive purge. AM will have to TP out here, possibly. MK has some more mana left. Has to use the Stormbolt on the low HP Shaman. That doesn't feel very good, but that was a decent fight for Fly. Both the sides here losing plenty of units. And the expansion was cancelled somehow. When is Neo coming back? Very soon. Neo uh, took vacation for the month of June. So he's going to be back in July. So, uh, next week. Expansion being started again. So it seems like Suck isn't transitioning fully into Breakers, though. By the look of things. Aim is not yet level 4. 
Watch Elementals could start being good again. If the MK with the clap and perhaps Stormbolt can snipe these Shaman quickly. MK is still a serious beefcake. And Socket's gonna scout the expansion again. Damage here once more might not be enough with the one level 1 Water Elemental. But I think this is a good game here for our first match of the day. Very even. Normally though we say the later it goes, the higher the hero levels get, the better it is for the human. Because of how breakers can counter the TC. But here we don't have too many breakers yet, do we? Only two breakers. Perhaps he just adds in two or three to be able to steal the wolves. Which I think is pretty cool. Oh, there it is. Stole one. Casted invis. Great scout. Now we do have an invul potion again. And yeah, this MK, I think he proved to be tanky enough to not need invul anymore. Just keep that on the AM. And these Invis Wolves are scouting wonderfully. MK with full mana, plus a mana potion in the fight. That should be like five claps and a Storm Bolt or two. A player's forces are under attack. So going into upkeep, following up now with more breakers. Wonderful setup by Fly, perfect concave, but the MK shows up out of Invis, takes out the first Shaman right away, and we don't have too many Shaman anymore now, do we? Aggressive Purge against the MK. Stormball on the TC, trying to keep him at bay. Perhaps the MK can be killed, but it's not going to be too easy. Clap again, speed scroll, chasing after the Mountain King. But this MK is going to make it out, but the TC... With a wonderful position, stomp into absolutely everything. Heal scroll perfectly timed there by Fly as well. He was about to lose a lot of his units, especially in the back line. Stomp versus Clap, both doing a tremendous job. And this Cloak of Flames, man, so much damage over time. Clap, Chain Lightning, AoE damage is ramping up. Sock would love to have a heal scroll, but I guess he must have used it already. Water Elemental is being summoned again, and now we don't have Shaman anymore to dispel against these Water Elementals. Stormbolt on the Farseer, who is, by the way, close to level 5. Mana Potion Clap, Invul Potion used as well. This MK is seemingly taking over this game now. Picking off the Kodo Beast would return the Priest, but he's dead already. Level 6 on the Mountain King. Should probably not go for his ultimate. Doesn't really have enough mana. And the MK getting ensnared, getting focused. He's in trouble. No Priest anymore to heal him up. Invul Potion has to be transferred. Instead, he gives over the TP. Sock needs to heal scroll badly. I think that's what he's trying to get to. At the shop. Bought it. But the MK is super hurt. Flies heroes completely out of mana. Very scrappy fight. One purge is there. But there's really not too many. He can't summon the wolves because they'll just be stolen. What Sock really needs here is Priests. I think he didn't remake enough Priests during the fight. Not having the heal here is a big problem. One Shaman, again, taken out. MK has decent mana once more. Stormbolt on the TC, good damage on him. And mana drain, of course, from the feedback from the Breakers. Does Sock have enough to push through here? The tower adds in a bit more damage. Honestly, not that much damage, though. Only one tower, not the end of the world. Ooh, wonderful clap! And the MK might be doing it here in the end. One Priest has returned, so now once again can start healing. Especially on the MK. So valuable. Damage reduction plus healing is super efficient. Very strong combination. And Suck doesn't want to overextend. He's going to fall back a little bit. He doesn't have that big of an army anymore. Couple of Sorks now. Could be pretty good. He's going to go for another heal scroll as well. Healing up as well with the priests. Would love to see backpack for some clarities. But I'm not sure if humans even know that the backpack upgrade exists. Going to be another wonderful clap right here. Oh, MK lands it. He's baiting the focus on him. 
Invo Potion used very early. Perhaps a little too early. Speed scroll active. TC looking for the target. What's he gonna go for? It's gonna be the priest in the back. Wants to take out the healing here quickly. TC low HP still. There's a Stormbolt available. Must be Stormbolt level 3, by the way. Again, doesn't have the mana for the ultimate for Cosmodon. Oh, TC in trouble. Stormbolt finds him. Right clicks follow. TC dies. AM5. And he does have the Invo Potion here to stay alive with the AM as well. Seven seconds. Priests again, all taken out. Fly doing a good job, sniping the healers as quickly as you can. So the sustain here is really not that high. But Invis is there to save the Archmage. Farseer is close to level 6, although that doesn't really help too much. <laughs> Could go for Farsight, maybe, <laughs> to reveal against the Invis. Fly's doing his best here to hold on. Both players really low in supply. Sock finding more kills, not too much peon mining there anymore, and the MK is close to level 7. I think he still shouldn't skill the ultimate, by the way. I think Bash would be actually be better. Because he never has that much mana. Scroll of healing here for Sock as he seems to finally have won this game. He went for Water Elemental 3, by the way. Not brilliant today. Kind of surprising. But I guess at this stage in the game, there's not too many Shaman anymore. And they die very quickly. But level 3 brilliant is a lot of region. Sixteen armor mountain king dude if he had the ultimate and activated the avatar you'd be so insanely tanky Avatar gives you 500 bonus HP and five armor <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> That would be like more than 3,000 EHP then on the MK Would have loved to see it, but I think we shall not this game Sock even expanding now in the top left. It takes forever for that one to finish, but he does have the time. He's applying so much time, applying so much pressure with his army, and especially with the Mountain King. TC looking for the big stomp. Nice blitz from the caster backline. I think he just kind of dispelled his own invis or something, but whatever. Fly cannot win a fight anymore. This MK has taken over the game, and GG is called. Sock takes the 1-0. Whew. I think Fly didn't play this early game perfectly. I think he played a little too passive. When the human goes for this 2 burrow tech, he's going to be extremely limited in what he can do for a very long time. So I think he should have nabbed both middle camps a lot earlier. Of course he got the merchant, but then the marketplace uh, went to Sock later. I don't think that should really happen. And maybe just play more aggressively from the get-go. Not so sure about the grand opening as well. I feel like uh, just going straight into Headhunters might be better. But yeah, good showing by Sock. Looking really, really good here. Clear game plan. Fast tech with a 2 farm. Creep level 2 AM. Try to be annoying. Slow down the Farseer. Don't creep yourself too much because you can't creep too much with only 3 footies. Get the MK out fast. Power level him. Get him to 3 quickly. Ideally level 4. Pick up some items. And then trust in the power of the hammer to win you the game. Which certainly was the case here. Mountain King's clap was uh, stronger in the past, but even now on the more adjusted new version, clap can still make all the difference in the world. What's that quote from the G-Man from Half-Life? The right man in the wrong place 
can make all the difference in the world. All right, map two is going to start. Ah, my allergies are back, boys. What a great joy it is. Thank you, Alps, with the 10 month resubs. It's lovely Friday entertainment. Looking forward to WGL and DreamHack the next few weeks. Hell yeah. Next month, we're going to have DreamHack and WGL. It's going to be pretty poggers. Ipos Gilburn with a 48 month resub. That's four years, my man. Thank you. All right. We're moving on to map two. We're just going to be Amazonia and all my human brothers in chat. Tell me right now, what strategy works out really well on AZ? Much better than on most other maps. Can you tell me? <laughs> Todd says nothing. <laughs> Naza is right! Pargies, Pally Rifles, let's go, baby! Pally Rifles for a long time only was a meme strat. It turns out, against Undead, Ted Fiend build, it's pretty good. However, against Crypt Lord, it's completely horrible, which is the big problem uh, for Pally Rifles in this matchup. But, Jamiko showed that Farseer, that against Farseer Headhunters, it can also be good. And I'm excited for this one, man. I love seeing Pally Rifles. A very, very different style. And the reason why it's better on this map than most others is you get level 2 guaranteed right away. You can't be harassed and prevented to get level 2. And it's a pretty small map. It's hard for the Orc to expand and it's hard for the Orc to hit and run. Pally Rifles can be strong, but the biggest downside of Pally Rifles is it's very immobile. And you can get lamed like crazy. But on a small map like AZ, that is very hard to do. Alright, we'll see how this is done. There's some people who are experts at pally rifles. Of course, Thorzane comes to mind. I'm not sure how much experience Sok has with this. But we're gonna find out. Some peasants will certainly be falling. Especially before the paladin is out. Riflemen do have very good DPS. Better DPS than fiends. And also, their attack windup is excellent. So, when you attack something, they shoot right away. Unlike fiends and archers who you know, have this long wind-up before they finally fire. So you can stutter step with rifles really, really well. Similar to... Uh, headhunters. Of course, the big problem for rifles, though, is before Tier 2, they have very low range. With Tier 2, with long rifle upgrades, they get 200 bonus range, which is very good. But before that, they only have 400 range. Which is not that great. It was a fast tech, by the way. Two rifle tech, the Thorzane style, kind of, I guess. And Sok was not allowed to creep yet. Fly knows if he falls back to creep himself, the pally is gonna start creeping up quickly. And Paladin scales extremely well. Holy Light is super strong, 65 mana, instant heal. And once there's like five rifles out, you can snipe. Those uh, wolves pretty easily. The players' forces are under attack. At the moment, the headhunters outrange the rifles with their 550 range. That is going to change on tier two. I think this is a good play here by, by Fly, trying to creep camps away from the Paladin and ideally prevent his level 2. It's gonna be hard though, especially with the Murlocs. Oh, he cancels the Clarity. And one rifle might be going down here. 
some militia called into the mix as well. Mana's running very low on both sides. Farseer has like two more wolf resummons. And Sok did a good job keeping all of his rifles alive, so the Regent Scroll can be very effective. He lost a couple of peasants here as well. Fly now trying to cancel the Regent Scroll as much as he can. Ooh, and that's actually a lot of peasants going down. It's going to be very noticeable in the lumber here soon. That's so many headhunters. Is that double rex headhunters? I don't think so. Farseer is very close now to level 2. Sok is about to reach tier 2. Needs to make the second hero before the farm falls. Okay, still has supply capacity. Upgrading long rifles upgrade right away. Doesn't take long. Didn't start a second hero yet. Needs to get the blood mage out. Sock, second hero. Oh, well, it's definitely a bit of a macro mistake here by Sock. Not starting his second hero. So many rifles, dude. Alright, that's the last set of wolves. Somehow all rifles are still alive until I say it, of course. Now the rifle dies. Long rifles upgrade is finally finished. He didn't have resources? Yeah, he did. For a few seconds, he did have the resources. Oh, Shadowhunter now comes in with the heat wave as well. So much pressure on Sok. One more holy light comes in. I guess Flyby now must also have Troll Regent. And he's going tier 3, by the way. Oh my god, he's putting so much pressure on Sok. All right, you know, <laughs> maybe the Pally Rifles isn't that perfect counter that it were, we were hoping for. Finally gets to level 2. Man, that took so long. Maybe you should have made a tower at the very beginning. Arcane Tower in front. That would have helped a lot in dealing with this. Of course, would have slowed down his tech. And now it's looking pretty desperate, man. Everything is so low HP. And still no second hero. Yeah, I think if he plays this with a faster arcane tower and a blood mage, this could look a lot different. Still so low HP. Call to arms! The boys have been called. And behind this fly is going to tier 3. We're gonna have Berserker soon. We could have a third hero soon. TC would be pretty amazing. Even on level 1 for a Stomp or 2. wave and Sucker's gonna have to tap out GG called 1-1 one, one. and the pally rifles does not work out this time fly knowing exactly what to do about it being very aggressive and not giving the pally any room to level up to get to three to uh, safely get a second hero out just hyper aggressive play well done there by fly but I gotta say I think Sok could have done that better. I feel like an arcane tower would make all the difference. So if you make... Question is how does it work out with the resources? If you make the arcane and upgrade it before the tech, it's definitely going to slow down your tech by a lot. Maybe you can do it during the tech, but getting it up during the tech might be hard against headhunters. 
But I really think he needs an arcane there. I really, really do. <laughs> Three level two, you say? Yep. Didn't quite get the level two there, did he? If he had an arcane tower in front, though, maybe he does. Unfortunate, I feel, that uh, Sock doesn't win the game here because that's going to be possibly for the scene, if you want to say, uh, for the meta, a discouraging experience for the pally rifles. Tried it here on arguably the best pally rifles map and it failed. I would love to just reload that game and to see Sock just going for an arcane tower right away. But oh well. Game two is over. The score is 1-1. And I always forget to update the score. There we go. Now we got it. 1-1. One, one. And a decision to be made on Last Refuge. Fly in the top right, sock in the bottom left. And we're gonna have fast headhunters this time. No grunt first. Seems like Fly not appreciating that style so much anymore. Didn't work out on Northern Isles. Oh, and he's sending out a peon scout. Ooh, wait a minute. He's sending out a peon scout, trying to prevent the shadow priest pickup. It's gonna be a late tech then. This is going to cost him a lot of lumber. If you play two burrow headhunters tech with a peon scout, that's super late. If Sock just goes for a two farm tech, he should be way ahead. And he might not even want to go for the Shadow Priest. Well, I guess he is. Sends over the footy. But with the peon here, this shouldn't really be possible. The peon is ready to steal the Shadow Priest if the footy goes for the pull. Here comes the Farseer. A player's forces are under attack. So Sok will have to play this without a Shadow Priest. So most orcs on this map don't go for the peon scout anymore because it slows down the tech so much. Fly here feels that it is worth it to prevent that Shadow Priest on the enemy side. There was a pull, but no purchase. AM starts off with the ring. Nobody wanted to see. A player's forces are under attack. Tech starts though. A replenishment potion on the farce here is very nice. Can trade hits very efficiently now. Ring and Cloak for Sock. That is not very lucky. But he is gonna get level 2 right away. Before the Headhunters are in. Fly can't pressure that much yet. But once they are, he certainly can. Sock playing around the last hit nicely. And Headhunters start showing up. A bit more experience for the Farce here. Needs only one more footy kill now to get the level 2. Well, guess what? The cloak did turn out to be useful. Thank you all the smoke with the 14-month resub. That's the play that you very often see in the early game. Farseer and the Headhunters walk towards the camp during nighttime. They're not spotted. The wolves are still scouting over where the opponent is. Then you resummon the wolves and creep the camp quickly. One of the big strengths of Farseer early. Suck though. Able to creep up a little bit more. Two and a half on the farce here. He's gonna come in here for the creep jack. Could steal that one last hit with the chain lightning. Or kill the footy. Zap. Zippity zap. 
Oh, well, Fully is dead regardless. But good deny. Oh, AM finds his way into the main and gets the cancel on the shot. That's pretty much the best thing you could accomplish at this point in time. Fly though, not gonna be deterred by this. He's gonna creep in the middle. Once you have a couple of headhunters, creeping these middle camps with a heavy armor on the ogres, very easy. And it's gonna be a great camp for him as well. It's gonna be level three if he gets the experience here, which it definitely seems like he should. Big heal potion for the Farseer. A player's forces are under and he got that level 3. TC starting to come out. The MK should be out a bit sooner here. Oh, and Socket to cancel on the Lodge as well. Not too bad, not too bad. And this cloak is actually turning out to be quite useful. Finally, the MK comes out, but it's not so easy to creep for him right now. Ideally, he would love to creep the merchant, but that camp is gone. He can't take the natural. That camp is gone. Mercenary camp is worth consideration, but it's not so easy to creep. But that's what he's going to go for. He's looking very reminiscent here of Northern Isles, by the way. This AM playing a very sacrificial early mid-game, trying to slow down the orc while the MK is power creeping fast. AM is going to be forced to TP out. Oof. So again, investing the TP to buy space for the Mountain King. Interesting. If the MK solo creeps the lab, that would be level 3. But that again, isn't so easy of a creep. That camp is gone. Fly smartly took away the merchant. And early Windriders. Whoa! Against rifles. It's quite surprising. Sock struggling right now to find creep camps. Oh, and he's gonna get sandwiched. Farseer coming from the left. TC coming from the right. This is a bad position for Fly. Or for Sock, rather. Stormbow on the TC, trying to slow him down. Sock needs Militia ASAP. Mountain King in the front line. So it's the TC, of course. One Rifleman, gonna be taken out right away. The Orc has not lost anything so far, but he's trying to fall back a little bit. Fly knows Militia must be arriving any second now. Stormbolt focus again on the Torn Chieftain. Item transferred to him, I think it's an Invul Potion. The militia arrive, and they do help out quite a bit right now, but just for a couple of seconds. Duration's gonna run out soon. TC though. Big heal potion is on cooldown. TP transfer, last second save. Oh boy. That was super close. One grunt does go down. That's the only kill here Sok was able to get. But perhaps, more importantly, he's able to creep now after. MK quite tanky with the belt and the ring that he found earlier. Gonna get an item here as well. And the TC for Fly is still not level 3. Circuit for the Mountain King. Once again, this MK is beefing up hard. Like we saw earlier on Northern Isles. A player's forces are under attack. MK gets three, but the AM is right now not with the rest of the army. Dispel from the priest completely misses. Didn't hit the wolf. Bit of a blunder there by Sok. Again, he's gonna have to rely on militia to survive this fight right here. Heal scroll. Oh, and the lightning shield running on the Torn Chieftain. Not getting dispelled right now because the priests are low mana. Focus on the TC again. Heal potion was used before. He's surrounded. He's doing a lot of damage. With the lightning shield, but the TC will go down. There was no TP anymore. Heal potion was used before. 
And this is where the fight will turn around in Sock's favor. He's got Storm Bolts, he can chase. Was perhaps considering trying to go for the Farseer kill, but can't get that one. Farseer, if he gets one or two more kills, is going to be level 4 himself for Chain Lightning. Not too bad. But that hero kill, of course, is a huge deal. And Fly knows if he falls back now, that's going to mean that the Red Camp is going to go to Sock as well. Although Sock's army has shrunk significantly. Well, I guess he's at 50, so maybe not. Fly gonna try to see the last hit here with Chain Lightning. Expansion coming up, but it's taking a long time, as human expos always do. Big last hit. Has to use the Storm Bolt. Oh, that Storm Bolt was a little early, if you ask me. Hood of Cunning for the MK. Not amazing, but pretty good. TC finally back. Still not level 3. If he creeps the Merc, he's gonna get it. Suck with 800 gold, by the way. However, low lumber. The heavy militia usage is becoming noticeable. And the Farseer. Oh! He doesn't have a TP! Oh, that was very careless by Fly. Running around the corner without vision. He's getting surrounded. Gonna lose the Farseer level 4. Which might get level 4 to the MK on the other hand. Oh, that was definitely a little careless. Obviously, he wanted to go for items at the shop. But... <laughs> you need to make sure the opponent isn't there. And he could have just gone to his own shop to get items there. That would have been safe. Big mistake by Fly. The second hero lost that might cost him the game now. Level 4 on the MK. Got on the gloves of haste. Sark had not scouted the expansion yet, but will in a moment. As the Watch Elemental is making its way over there. Upgrades coming in for Breakers and Sorks. Again, we're going to have a Breaker transition. And the next Red Camp. For the human solo experience to the Mountain King again. Warsong Battle Drums, very nice. More damage for everything. And Sok is gonna have to push this. Doesn't really have time to counter expand. He's starting to transition into Breakers. But he doesn't have a big army yet. Somehow Fly has a supply lead here. The thing is, he doesn't have many consumable items, right? He doesn't have invul, he doesn't have heal scroll. Sok is getting ready for some hit and run, expecting a counter attack, setting up some towers. Double level 4 heroes for Sok is quite strong here. And the MK level 5, we all know what it can do. Very smart by Sok. Anticipating the counterattack already with towers coming, but take some time to upgrade those. Expansion is taken out without having mined too much. And breaker upgrades starting to come in as well. One breaker getting caught. That one's gonna be a freebie. Seven supply lead for the orc. But especially if it should come to a fight here, militia support is going to count for a lot as well. Stoneball in the Kodo, that one should be going down, but the shop has also fallen, which means <clears throat> no more breakers for the time being. And there's still a big camp left to be crept there. Should be solo crept by the Mountain King. If he gets the full camp solo, he's got to be pretty close to level 5. TC solo creeping up as well. His level 5 is a little bit further away. Book of the Dead. 
is decent. Shaman, of course, don't have AoE to spell, but only single target. Uh, but, you know, it wouldn't survive long anyways, I would imagine. But it couldn't maybe bait a stomp or two. So he's not selling the item, he's keeping it on the AM. Creeping the rest of the red, and that's gonna be MK at level 5. Should be. Indeed. And now, we have the powerful clap level 3 once more. Oh, AM caught in a bad position. It's gonna have to use the invul here soon, once the TC gets into range. And use the book of the dead as well. First clap, hit quite well, heal scroll against it right away by fly. Repositioning on everything. Book of the Dead is taken care of, but also the AM made it safely to the back line. MK in front, getting focused pretty heavily. He's got the invul potion. Gonna try to dodge the stomp with it. Oh, didn't quite get it. MK gets hit, but he's very tanky again. 9 armor, 1200 HP, and the clap is doing wonderful damage. Heal scroll, trying to heal against it. That was the second out of two heal scrolls. That's it for heal scrolls now. Next clap used. MK out of mana. Sock gonna TP out when his mana was gone. Even went for a workshop here. Anticipating perhaps some Zeppel in her ass. That is not the case, but better to be on the safe side. And Socky was saving so much money. 1600 gold now for him. Even got Magic Sentry. Oh wait, is it called Arcane Sentry? I think it's called Magic Sentry. So you can use the Arcane Towers for a bit of Reveal, which is nice. But Sock did use a TP and double Invul Potion here. He's definitely gonna need at least one Invul Potion to take the next fight. A player's forces are under attack. Heal scroll, invul, and TP. There we go. Sock did have a big bank. Still has quite a big bank. MK with a mana pot. Perhaps again he feels the MK is tanky enough to not need an invul. I'd like to see... The Warsong Battle Drums though on the AM. And still have an invul on the MK. But Fly now got the invul on his side, so... No invuls anymore available. Oh, the Zeppelin could actually be pretty good to save a hero. Oh, TC is revealed somehow. Oh, with the gyro. Wasn't even considering that. Flying machines have true sight, so TC couldn't hide invis there against that. Going to take a lot of damage, going to have to boost out with a speed scroll. And the expansion was cancelled again. Oh, he did get the second invul. Okay. So Fly didn't buy an invul potion. And Sok now has spent all of his money. Made a big army. More and more breakers coming. And Fly's in trouble. A player's Fly is definitely in trouble here. The gyro is also really good at scouting things out. Can park it above the trees. Figure out where your opponent is. Fly's just getting close to level 5, but... His level 5 again won't be that good. Chain Lightning is... Oh my god, the clap! Oof. Hits 8 units with the clap. Terrible damage inflicted at the very beginning. And he's blocking away the TC as well. Well, partly. With the MK and Breakers. He's going against the Stomp Chain Lightning. And the MK is just ready to clean up. He's doing a janitor cosplay here. Mountain King level 5 once again! Gonna win this fight. AM is safe as well with a Zeppelin. I think he still has an invul potion. Wonderful game here by Sock. Some big stomps in the back. But the clap is turning out to be superior. Another Kodo goes down. Sock still with a pretty solid army here. Fly down to only 31 supply. That's not gonna be enough. Chain Lightning even gets him a kill and gets him level 5. But this should be game. If this surround sticks... Oh! It doesn't quite. Again, Water Elemental level 3, by the way. 
I don't really agree with that, but I don't want to be critical of Sock here. He played a tremendous series. Pally rifles, I think, is something that he needs a bit more practice with. But this two farm into rifles with late game breakers is playing really, really, really well. MK once more close to level 6. Everything's kind of hurt here. Not too many priests for the sustain. But I would imagine he has heal scrolls now as well. There is a hidden expansion on the high ground, but Sok is even going to be scouting for that. He sent up some militia there, I think. I'm going to figure out what's going on. A player's forces are under attack. Sok with a great play here. Is going to be taking the W unless Fly manages to do something quite magical. Uh oh, Stormbolt flies. Does he have a speed scroll? Watch Elemental Surround. Oh, it's a double surround! The TC followed up into the surround. Okay, purchase the Watch Elemental. But next Stormbolt flies. TC. Maybe not surrounded. Ah, no, he is. TC is stuck. <laughs> Until I say it. He does get out, but he shall fall. The clap is ready. Kablooya! Not even gonna need it. The next hero kill, I think that's the third hero kill in total. And that is level 6 for this Mountain King. So I'll expand in the meantime in the bottom right. Okay, it's just starting. Fly is still hoping to somehow win this game with uh, some base lame shenanigans maybe. Oh, he almost could steal the wolves. And that's going to be GG. 2-1 victory for Sock.